special exhibit at the Bonita Museum and Cultural Arts Center is introducing the history of Philippine cinema to our community, highlighting Filipino American stories created by our local filmmakers. You're watching scenes here from the film The Interpreter, and we are so happy to be joined this afternoon by the film's director, Benito Batista, and local actor Eric Joshua, who plays the role of a Filipino Japanese interpreter in the film. Thank you both so much for joining us to talk about the Sino Quinto exhibition. Eric, I want to let you know, I watched a clip of the interview of the uh, trailer from the interpreter and I wanna know what happens now. And I think like a lot of people like me during the pandemic are all searching for new creative things to watch because we kind of have a lot more time than we used to. So tell us about the film and how great it is that even during a pandemic, you're able to have this special exhibit. Well, to know exactly what happens, you'll have to wait and see the film. <laughs> I knew you would uh, say that. December 3rd, by the way, on Amazon. Okay. Um, now, it was an, ama an amazing experience to work on alongside Benito Bautista and the interpreter crew, uh, being able to present myself as a Filipino-American, uh, father being from the uh, Philippines Navy, and then to San Diego. So it was, it was uh, great to be able to express myself. I know there has been kind of a lull, though, in filmmaking and showcasing films because of the pandemic. So the fact that we're able to have this exhibit now has to be so wonderful for you to be involved in still showcasing your film. So despite there being, you know, the troubles uh, that the pandemic brings about, uh, we're still able to showcase things online um, and also in person. Uh, of course, socially distancing with a limited uh, amount of people to view the, the actual exhibit. So we're able to overcome those things and have people, you know, follow guidelines so that we're able to, you know, embrace our culture and everything. I think it's so wonderful. And uh, Benita, let's go to you now. You are actually in the museum and you've got this beautiful tapestry behind you. It's gorgeous. Tell me about this installation and how people can come see this in a socially safe way, distanced way. Well, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me and uh, Eric Joshua in, in, you know, in this interview, uh, Marcella. Um, I'm now in the museum, in the Benita Museum, um, and you can actually um, view the, ex the exhibition, the Cinequento exhibition, if you register and make appointment with the Benita Museum. And I, I, I think I texted you. Yeah, we're uh, going to share Wilson's, that information. Uh, uh, telephone number in the we'll museum. We'll share that information in just a moment. Yes. But tell us, just tell us so, about uh, the significance. And strict guidelines on, you know, masks. Yes, absolutely. But tell us about the significance of the patchwork quilt and the projection onto it and what this means, the symbolization of it all. Well, the Cine Cuento uh, is Filipino stories in film um, exhibition. And uh, we're, we're exhibiting landmark films and also ushering the, the attendees, the audience, to to discover uh, younger generation Filipino American filmmakers here in San Diego. So the landmark films are actually uh, licensed uh, photographs from uh, uh, the film, the Philippine film industry from the 1960s all the way to the present. And you are going to also see uh, uh, bios of masters of Philippine cinema. And inside that exhibition, we have the Tela Nobela uh, community art installation. The telenovela is actually uh, uh, derived from the. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a Tagalog word, uh, words uh, uh, saying um, uh, fabric uh, stories on fabric. It's so beautiful. I and, love the symbolism. Yeah, and they are actually uh, uh, donations of clothing from the Filipino American community so in San Diego, including. Uh, uh, Eric Joshua and, and his family. Well, thank you and so much, gentlemen. Yes, We've we run out are, of time, but we yeah. are going to give our viewers a way that, to come see this in person. It's wonderful, especially uh, right now. I think all of us need a little bit of uh, an escape, and to watch these culturally diverse films is just so wonderful. Eric, Batista, thank you so much. For Benito, thank, you. thank you so much for joining us. And we want to tell you about the exhibit, Cena Quinto Filipino Storms in Stories in Film. It's going to run through November 30th, but due to the purple tier, of course, those protocols will be strict. Then the films will be screened online only. And outdoor social distancing at the Benita Museum and Cultural Center is limited to 40 attendees, or O, so you must register first. For more information, you can go to sdfilipinocinema.org.